video, I'm going to add RetroArch to my build. I already hacked my Wii. I have lots of cool Wii games like Breath of the Wild running. Uh, check out my previous video on that if you want to learn how to do it. And then by the end of this video, you'll have a little RetroArch launcher here. We're going to install it and then uh, you can drag and drop your own ROMs so you can play you know you name it Sega Genesis Super Nintendo Nintendo MAME games PC Engine um, portables Atari all that stuff it takes a little long to get into RetroArch here but once you're in you can save your state you can rewind so it's just like having any other system with RetroArch on it whether it's Android or whatever your base is in these RetroPie um, it's a Raspberry Pi it's similar. It's just now you can have a Nintendo Wii that not only plays Wii and Wii U games, um, you can inst also install Nintendo and play GameCube games. And then what we did here was we installed a build that has, um, you know, MAME, uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo. I'm just going to scroll over to a Nintendo game here. I'm going by system, the, con the system controllers at the top. And as you see um, on my gamepad as well, I can um, play these games. So um, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be hooked up to a TV. So when you think about it like that, that's another bonus that you get for hacking your Wii U is you basically get a portable emulation machine, which is actually like icing on the cake. Um, like I said, you can play most of these games on a bunch of different devices like most devices will allow you to install retro arc and you can just go and play your favorite retro video games but this one i was trying to get to super mario do something a little classic here we go super mario brothers let's go ahead and launch it go to run and then now we're running okay start and just like that now, mind you, I'm trying to keep this on the camera for you. I am using the gamepad and the webcam below. And uh, as you see, it's emulating this just fine. Uh-oh. And it's very responsive. That's something I really like about this, is the controller is very good. Nice. Okay, so, and then you can always hit um, the home button here, go back to Retro Arc. Oh, sorry, I hit the home button. And that takes you here, and I can always go ahead and you can save your state, restart, um, cheats, shaders, um, but also you can go over here and just quit and return back to your Wii U menu. And there you go. So if you want to learn to do this, stay tuned. Okay, your SD card should already be on FAT32, but if it's not, you can download a free FAT32 formatter. Um, your SD card does need to be FAT32. I call mine boot. This is the same SD card for my other video. I already have my Pi hacked. Um, I actually already did the install for this. Um, so just so you know, these, these files right here, um, it would be ROMs, RetroArch, and Overlay. These are all new folders that I've transferred over. Here's his README file for the Wii U Ultimate Collection version. So first thing to do would be to hack, to download this. You can find it on Arcade Punks. Please download at your own risk. I'll mention later in the video, you can just do this yourself. Get RetroArch, add your own ROMs. Um, so he says also if you want to do it on 64 gigabyte instead of a 128 you can get rid of these two rom folders so what he's saying here is you would just go into here go to roms you wouldn't transfer over the pc engine cd and the turbo graphics you would just delete these you could go ahead and right click delete or just when you go to transfer these roms do everything except those ones um and then uh, he's mentioning you just want to install these three files and then this these two paragraphs here are what i i show you um how to install later in this video and then here's a couple other control controls the way he has it set up right now and uh you know some small little fixes if you wish to do those on your own i found it to work just fine out of the box okay thank you crazy mac so that brings us to um you have your on the left side here we have our sd card that we took out of our 
Wii. Always take it out with your Wii U off. Do not take it out while your Wii U is on. I ejected it. I put it in my computer. On the right side here, I have my Wii U Retro Ultimate. It does come pre-zipped, so you're going to need like 7-Zip or RINRAR. Go ahead and unzip it. Get just right click the first file, say unzip extract here. Then you're gonna get a folder like this. You click inside and here's what we need. Um, you want overlay, retro arc and ROMs. Go ahead and control C and then control V them over here. I've already done that so we don't have to wait for it. The other thing you wanna do is take this install file here, control C and then go, you should already have this folder, go into it and paste it here. This is gonna allow us to install retro arc because it's not installed on our Wii U yet. So that's a very important step, moving that over. As far as what's in here, um, I did actually transfer this over as well. So go ahead and go to uh, back to here, Wii U apps, just get RetroArch and I put it in here, Wii U apps and then put it in there. Just to review, we added Wii U apps, we added the retro arc there. We went into install, we added the this numbered file folder, which is actually the retro arc. And then we added three new folders and all their contents. Um, there's a lot of, of gigabytes there um, to transfer those three. And now we're, we're done. We're going to go ahead and eject the SD card out of our computer, put it back into our Wii U while the Wii U is off, 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 off. Then once the SD card is properly mounted inside, you can go ahead and turn the Wii on and that'll be the next screen. All right, so here I am on my Wii U. I hacked it from the previous video and then I recently transferred all those files that I need onto my SD card. The next thing I wanna do is go ahead and launch HackChi. In my tutorial, I didn't have it permanently on HackChi, so every time I boot my Wii U, I just have to go into HackChi before I launch anything, especially, you know, RetroArch, or any of these other uh, DLCs or whatever else I downloaded it. Uh, you need to get into Hackchi first to go ahead and launch that. Once you're in Hackchi, now you have those permissions to be able to do the things we're about to do. So um, here we are, we're in, uh, we're now in Hackchi. So now we can play games, but we can also do what I'm about to do now, which is we're gonna go to the homebrew launcher, which is again, something I installed in the previous video. So this is nothing new. Your Wii should already have this on there. And what we want to do is we just want to install RetroArch. And so to do that, we want to go over, over, and go to the WP installer. Go ahead and hit load. And then um, we added this. It's just a folder with a bunch of numbers on it. But what that is is it is that all the install files you need for RetroArch. So go ahead and hit install and go ahead and say yes. And then we want it on the NAND because that's the SD card. The NAND, we're using the, the NAND SD card as our NAND. We want it on the same directory. So, and then it's all done. And then we just want to go ahead and hit home. And we've now, and then home again, close software. And we'll go back to the Wii menu. And again, we should still be in HackChi now. That's pretty much it because we transferred over those ROMs already. So they're already in our um, system. So now when we load RetroArch for the first time, um, it should just load right up. And all those games, the playlist, the games lists are already done for you. So um, if you're not using this pre-made build, you do have to kind of make your own uh, retro arc. You have to install it, drag over your own ROMs, but then you have more control over what games you want to put on your uh, Wii U. And so a lot of people will choose to do that. Um, you should also just be able to go find, you know, you don't need to download that whole thing I just set, told you to. If you hack your Wii, all you have to do then is go find the RetroArch for the Wii U, drag it into that install folder, install it like we just did using the homebrew channel and then the WP installer. And then um, now it, see, it takes a little bit of time to get into RetroArch. Um, and then now you have all these games. But um, what I was saying is if you don't want to do it this way, you want to install your own games or you, know, you just want to start from scratch, Go get RetroArch, put it in the install folder, install it like we just did, drag over your ROMs, and then you can just start setting it all up manually in RetroArch. It's a little bit more work, but it's actually probably a good thing because you can learn how RetroArch works and get that all going on your own. So um, there you have it. Super, super easy to do. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.